front pocket on the forehand side to the back pocket on the backhand side. Now watch what's happening here with my arms. Come on up to the camera if you can't see. It's on my forehand side, my weight's on my left leg, and all I'm gonna do is kind of transfer my weight to my right. Two things are happening. I'm going to bend this elbow in. I'm gonna come up close to the camera. I'm gonna bend this elbow in, and at the same time that I do that, I might even wanna slide this bottom hand down. And then what you're gonna do is kind of bring the puck in as close as you can underneath your body, and you're gonna catch it on the backhand side. You might even wanna do this and catch it with one hand, and then immediately get that leg out to protect your puck. Or you might just wanna do this, two hands, and then stick it out. I like catching it on my one hand, because you know what? I can then use my left arm to block and protect my puck, even push away their stick or their leg uh, with my arm. And I love doing that all the time. It's like my favorite move whenever I try to beat, beat players as a kid. On the forehand side, last time we did this, and you slammed, sorry, I know I glitched there. I slammed that right leg down, and it went front pocket to front pocket. Show me front pocket to back. Everyone watch my right leg. The puck comes underneath my leg so much so that it would actually hit this, it would hit this skate, or it would hit that uh, foot, unless I lifted it. And all I'm doing, that was a bad one, all I'm doing is lifting it for half a second and then placing it down. It might travel like right in front of it, or it might travel like right underneath where that foot would be. But no matter what, catch it back there. This is well protected. This is not. The further we can get it into that back pocket, the better. Let's do it as a group. Ready? I'm going to come watch in two seconds. Let's do three in a row together. Front pocket on the forehand side. Are you ready? Go. Back pocket on the backhand side. Front pocket on the forehand side. Let's set up. Three, two, one, go. Back pocket, and even stick that leg out and maybe that arm, unless you want to keep two hands on your stick. Let's do it again. Ready? Go. That's it. Okay, now watch this. If you can see this, it might be hard to see, but what I'm doing with my wrist is I'm snapping it down. I've got a white blade. I hope you guys can see that. But what I'm doing is every time that I snap my wrist down, my blade is coming with me. And what's happening here is as I'm doing this, and bending this elbow in, the puck is snapping off the toe, off the toe, which means the tip of the blade, and what it's doing is, it might even kind of saucer a little bit, but even with one hand and me just rotating my wrist, I can get that puck into my back pocket. That's the first way to make it move, and that adds some finesse. The second way is doing this, and just shoving it, shove it with that top arm, and then the third way to get it in there faster, because the faster the better, because we want to avoid those quick poke checks, is the slide of the bottom hand. Combine all three, the snap of the wrist, the bend of the elbow, and the slide of the bottom hand. Let's do it, three, two, one, go. Get into that back pocket. I'm gonna watch you now. Oh man, I'm sweating. Who else is sweating? <laughs> all right, go ahead. Let's see, front pocket, forehand side, way back here into the back pocket. I know a lot of us don't have maybe too much room, but just work with what space that you do have. Don't put it beside you. Everyone look at me for a sec. Look, I see a few players doing this. I'm a lefty. This is 12 o'clock right in front of me. I'm in the middle of a clock. 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I am moving the puck from 10 o'clock down, whoops, to five o'clock, five. Don't bring it to four or three, because that's not gonna protect it well enough. Essentially, can you see this? Here's a player. This black puck is a player. And what I'm gonna try to do is put the puck into my five o'clock. If you were a righty, then obviously it'd be seven o'clock. And then what I'm gonna do is put my entire body in front. So between that puck, that player, and their, their stick, ready to poke check, and my puck is, one and a half lengths of distance, maybe even more. If you get really low, you might be able to reach even further, get more into an athletic stance. And then once you stick that leg out, this person, between them and the puck that they're trying to get to, is my entire body covering it and protecting it. Puck, puck protection is such a huge component to deking. It's the third component, right? First component, go in with speed, don't skate straight at the player to make it easy. Second component, make the deke. Third component, 
protect the puck as you separate, uh, try to get around them. And then fourth, separate from the man or the girl. Get the hell around them, get around them and blow by them. Don't go in with speed, make a move and then get caught. You wanna also leave with speed, you know what I mean? Everyone go ahead, show me. 